Hello, this is Terry from Alabama. I'm back with a, a journal share. This one will be going up in my Etsy store, uh, Rankin Studios. And I'm also Rankin Studios on Facebook. This one's name is Jewel. And you can see why. She is beautiful. She is six and a quarter inches by nine and a half inches with a two and one eighth inch spine. She has a cotton fabric and an applique with embroidery around the flower here. We have all these appliques of sequins and beads and metallic thread covering and adorning her, her front. We have the sari ribbon that wraps around the spine. And we have a boho bead with gypsy coins and a little elephant. We have a sari ribbon on a hitch post. And she can accommodate becoming even larger. <clears throat> here she is. We start with a pocket here on the left. We have a Tiffany and Company tag. <clears throat> These images all came from Pinterest. This is a note from the bookmaker. Thank you, Jibbid. We have a pocket here and a flip. And that's a lovely medallion. It came off of a vintage, uh, sorry, I think it's called La Honga. La Honga, something like that. Not good at pronunciation. We've got a little bit of stenciling, just on a few pages. Here we go here. Most of these trims uh, were either bought from Boho Daydreams, uh, Sheila Gingrich, or directly from India. This is a old botanical book found these wonderful boho bags. So that's a good bag. Coffee dyed papers throughout. And I use a, a, I think it's 28 pound photo mat paper instead of regular coffee paper. So it's real sturdy. I'm sorry trim here. Beautiful, beautiful images here of various gypsies through various decades. Here we have a flip with some sequins, Edith Holden page is in the center. It does have three signatures and we have bells in the center. tuck to flip up. Sorry silk, cheesecloth, and music paper. I have a flip up tag. I like this woman dancing around with the tarot cards on the floor. Seem like I need to prop this up on something, but I don't have anything. Another tag, another beautiful image. Back side of the bag. <clears throat> 
do not remember where I got this boho uh, paper pad. I've had it for several years. Wish I could find some more. This is some vellum. More tracing paper. This is a double pocket. And she is so lovely, isn't she? We have a tag in the back. I think I, I don't know if I said it, but this is three signatures and it has 196 pages. This is a lot of embroidery and some stones and sequins and metal thread. Just love these pieces. I did back them on uh, cardstock. She is gorgeous. I like her expression. I really enjoy making these journals. I think they're probably one of my favorites. I've purchased so much boho fabrics and um, jewels and stuff. I, I'm going to be making bohos for a while. I've got two more in the works. I like this picture from Pinterest of India. You put the shape of an elephant on there. Here's a Nomadic woman. <clears throat> I did some decoupaging on this tag. And here is a dried hydrangea from my garden. <clears throat> All the spots are not filled because the book started getting kind of fat. But this is a tuck spot, you know, this is a flip. And this, uh, these beads are beautiful. It's, they're raised and rounded in some way. I've never seen anything like it. This is a beautiful piece of trim. center of the signature. This is an image from that um, vintage book I have on India. And uh, he's a portrait of a landowner in India. In Bombay was where it was taken or painted. It said from circa 1900. Here's another lovely lady, and she's a belly band. More elephants. And then we have a key. That's the end. She's, I left all the strings on her and she, 
she jingles. And this is real easy how you put that back on the post. So, I really loved her. <laughs> it's one I'd like to keep. Thank you. I hope you uh, enjoyed it.